Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day. Be with each and every council person here today to make the right judgments for our nation and for our people. I thank you for the administration that's here today to represent resources and be with all of our <clears throat> military personnel around the world, whether it be in the United States or overseas or where it may be. Be with them and their families and comfort them. Jesus Christ, we will pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Corbin. Uh, <coughs> roll call at this time, please. Curtis Snell. Krista. Here. Bill Angler. <coughs> Bill John Baker. Here. Jack Baker. Here. Carly Buzzer. Here. Julia Coates. Here. Bradley Cobb. Uh -huh. Joe Crittenden. Here. Jody Fishinghawk. Mary Fraley. Janelle Fulbright. Don Garvin, Chuck Hoskin Jr. Here. China Glory Jordan. Present. David Thornton. Present. Kara Cowan Watts. <coughs> John Masters. Ooh. We do have a quorum. All right. At this time, I would uh, entertain a motion to approve the May 11, 2009, regular session minutes. I move to be approved. Uh, second. Motion to approve and a second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed. Yes, Councilor Thornton. Uh, this time, I'd like to make a motion to add a couple of uh, resolutions to the Resource Committee. <coughs> okay. One of the resolutions being the resolution authorizes <coughs> submission of a special grant application from the U.S. Department of the Interior, Energy and <coughs> Minerals Development Program. And I'd like to make a motion to add that now. Second. Okay. There's another item we would like to uh, add. Okay, we'll do that separately. Okay, we have a, uh, a motion to amend the agenda to include this resolution, and I believe everyone has a handout on that. If you don't, we'll get you one. Uh, so we have a, uh, a motion to amend the agenda to include this resolution uh, from the Department of Interior Energy and Minerals Development Program. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, we have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, that uh, motion passes. That will be item number four on our new business agenda. Mm -hmm. Second. That works. Resolution design. Resolution authorizing BIA to <clears throat> update the nation's transportation improvement program to include the addition of 17 projects to the list of <clears throat> construction properties for Indian Reservation Roads. I'd like to make a motion to approve that. Okay, I have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to amend the agenda to include uh, projects being added for IR roads funding. That would be number item number five on our agenda. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, that motion passes. All right, with this approved. Yes, sir. We got it. We have one more item we need to amend the agenda. It's for the Delaware uh, issue, Brad. Do you, know, uh, do you have any information on that? We can get it printed out and get it in here real quick. It's for the, uh, she has shown us it. I've got it. Okay. <laughs> So I, I moved to have the agenda at this time. Okay, so we, we have another uh, motion to add an additional item to the agenda, and uh, that has to do with what was the it's item? The Delaware, it's the food, the, the uh, Senior. Senior, senior center, the food, the kitchen, and the food senior center up at uh, Marlesville, the Delaware. With, uh, okay, is this a budget modification or what is? I believe it is. It's a budget modification. Okay, so we want, we're going to generate kind of resources into. Uh, yeah, we'll move to council tonight. Excuse me, council back. The. I understand the purpose was that this was overlooked in the 2009 budget and it should have been 
added because the Delawares need their money, and uh, we have failed to do it. This is correct an oversight, so it needs to go to full council. Okay, so, we'll, so we'll review this budget item in the resources committee, and then uh, move it to full council yes. tonight for consideration. Yes. Okay, so that's that's the motion is to uh, review this and discuss, and then uh, we'll move it. So add that motion to add to the agenda. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, we've got a uh, motion to amend the agenda to include this budget discussion with a second uh, from Councillor Kyle Watts. I was just acknowledging okay. it was me, so you knew. Right. Well, thank you. Back. Appreciate that. Uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, motion passes. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'm, gonna, I'm not sure if we need to do this in the form of a motion, but uh, what we had talked about is moving the uh, roads report that is currently done here in Resources Committee <coughs> over to the community services committee which is on Tuesday I'm not so sure that we need a, a motion to do that but uh, probably in order to, to make it official we we'll probably need to do that uh, do the motion second take a vote on the thing okay if somebody would make it I would rather not make the motion but I'm, I'm okay with it moving over to my committee if, uh, Okay. Uh, what I would prefer to do is just add that as, a, as an agenda item to discuss, and then we'll uh, okay. go from there. That'll work. Thank you. Okay. So, do we have a motion to add a fourth item to the uh, previously published agenda? So let's. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All in favor, same sign. All right, so we've got four additions uh, to our new business section. Uh, I appreciate you being housekeeping. All right, we've got uh, some reports that are due. Uh, first on the agenda, we have management resources. Uh, Ms. Angela Drews. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair, committee. Good you've got my report in your packets. Um, I don't have anything additional to add to that. I'm open to any of your questions. Report published and put in your packets. Any <coughs> questions for Ms. Drew? No questions at this time. Thank you, you for showing up. Email and send me your Appreciate comments. the report. Okay, second on the uh, reports agenda is uh, real estate services. Do we have a representative? There's Linda. Oh, Ms. Donaldson, how are you doing? Good afternoon, all. Um, you also have my report in your uh, packet, and if you have any questions, I'm here to well, answer. We have a, a, a submitted report. Any questions over the report? Yes, uh, Council Court. Not over the report. Do we know? Redbird Smith, we, we have that property now. Yes, we do own that. <coughs> Thank you. Okay, yeah, so, uh, Council Budget. Yes, uh, Linda, give us, uh, give me or give us a, an overview of how <coughs> this works, and I'll come to you in the private and we can discuss it more. But we have a uh, an Indian person that has particular land and sold and this individual is still uh, needs to still under the uh, hand of the BI by the Cherokee National <coughs> and they come to me and I've actually requested uh, a release of funds but they can't get it now how what should we do is that still the case that they have funds they have sold the restricted income mm -hmm. But the BIA and I understand the Cherokee Nation still control that money or a portion of that money. Am I asking the right? Is that still the case? Uh, yes. They if, still if, if they still have the money from the sale, yes. if it was deposited in, into an individual Indian money account, uh -huh. then that is uh, in order for them to draw the money down, they need to come to real estate services office 
and uh, give us certain documents, and then we will make application for that money to be administered to him. So it can be done. Yes, it can be. <coughs> right. It's things like you need a copy of their uh, an ID, like their driver's license, okay. and some other documentation to show that they are the per one and the same person to receive the okay. property. Okay, it was kind of disturbing, you know, when they were telling me the story. You know, it's kind of like we're still back in the 1800s, the Bureau is still doing that, but I understand the reason for some of that, too. Anyway, I'll come to you and we'll talk about it. Okay, and we, we can get that worked out. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Chair. Thank you. Okay. No more questions for Ms. Donaldson. Mm -hmm. We'll go on. All right, thank you. Thank you. Next on the agenda, uh, agenda item is uh, Rosa Transportation, Michael Lynn. Good afternoon. I believe you got a copy of my report in your packet this month. Uh, the only additional thing I would like to add is uh, that we make on the report. Uh, I had a, an email from uh, Councillor Watts on some uh, signs for on state highways. We are working with ODOT to replace uh, the signs that entering and leaving Cherokee Nation jurisdiction. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to say yet, but uh, but that's the type of signs I'm talking about. And we're looking at uh, signs at 44 different locations around the perimeter of our jurisdiction. So. Uh, the request has been sent to ODOT, and they are evaluating that right now, and they're supposed to be getting back with us on uh, uh, costs and things like that. But anyway, I wanted to bring that up and let you know that we are working with ODOT on that. Okay. Michael, can you give us an update on the work on the paving of the housing additions? Where are we at on those? They, right now, they've kind of, after talking with David uh, Southern last week and, uh, and today even, uh, we're, the, we're putting a kind of a stop on that, on that work because of some HUD bidding requirements. Uh, we were trying to use the uh, county's asphalt bids. <coughs> after David did some checking with HUD, uh, the, their re the county's requirements, bidding requirements, didn't necessarily meet the HUD guidelines or regulations. So. Uh, what it looks like we're going to do now is a tribe is going to bid out. Uh, we will be bidding out uh, the asphalt uh, to, in order to meet those HUD requirements and then uh, get, get POs, I guess you could say, with the uh, uh, asphalt companies, producers, and then manage the project from that, from that route. There's still a go. It's just a matter of getting some uh, uh, bidding done through, up through the, our, our procurement process. Have we already done some of the work? One of the one of the projects has been has been funded, but it was not with uh, the stimulus, the housing stimulus fund. Now, now the housing units or housing additions that we were going to pay, those weren't with stimulus funds. That five hundred thousand, the so, first five hundred thousand was <coughs> not part of the regular uh, funding. It's not, it, it, it isn't stimulus money. Okay, I think some were and some weren't, though. Was that uh, all of the first 500000 was out of our regular in the hospital funding. Was it? So I, I guess I'm, a little, I'm at a little loss here to figure out why we're trying to now package it under stimulus money. Can you look into that? I can. I can. I, know, I, know, I don't know a lot about the funding requirements. That's something David was handling. We were just kind of handling the construction portion. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I can check into it. I know some were funded through the hospital stimulus and some weren't. So. I had a, a number of uh, individuals within those housing additions, because, of course, the word has got out mm -hmm. that there's, there's going to be pavement done, infrastructure work done, and... <coughs> They already, a number of them already know that we've completed the project over in Muskogee. Mm -hmm. So they were wondering why we're not working on the projects over here, and I didn't have an answer for them. Um, my understanding was from Marvin Jones is that the 500000 that was to go on the projects are primarily, I think it's Quaya, Adair, Delaware, Cherokee, and Mays, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, that five that five hundred thousand that was to be used for those roads was to come from regular and the Hosda funding and that there would be no problem in it being handled by our uh, in a co op agreement with our county commissioners. So I guess we need to know I'm I'm looking at our uh, chairperson, Mr. Harley here, 
We need to know a little more about maybe tomorrow's meeting of what's happening there. If you could be so kind to help us sure. out with that. I sure will. I sure will. I know, I know you're kind of caught in the middle. It's not you uh, because you're just being asked to administer it. But I sure want to keep it on track. Sure. Okay. I'll find out and, and this, I guess they did the reports tomorrow. Is that correct? I think Mr. Sutherland reports to you right now. Okay. We'll get we'll get some we'll get some information over for sure by tomorrow. I'd certainly appreciate it. Thank you. Counselor, okay. So just so we're clear, uh, Michael <coughs> your summary and with those details lined out in the, the uh, community services community services meeting tomorrow. Yes. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And uh, she asked a question. I'm not, uh, we, I do know that it was a $500 expenditure from the HUD fund. And I'm going to go back and, and, and look at that again to see if it was actually HUD fund or it was a sale of home for the a dollar. Was it, was it a sale of uh, <coughs> it's part, of sale? part of it in housing plan? Mm -hmm. Okay, that is HUD fund. So uh, David can explain that to us tomorrow. We'll get, I'll get word to him or get word to him. Right. Any other questions for the uh, roads and transportation piece? All right. See no further questions. We'll move on for uh, public comments. Is there anything there? Nope. Okay. Uh, environmental programs. Tom, you're up. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Please excuse my voice. I've got a little something in my chest and get out of wind. <laughs> You wouldn't think I could do that, but <laughs> I do. You have our report for this month, so I won't elaborate too much on that except to apologize. I think on one little part I put uh, a, uh, I put something in two places, so I won't elaborate on that. <coughs> apologize for that, and then I'll hand out a little bit of a report that <coughs> discusses. Sir. What we're doing with some DOI money that you passed a resolution with last month. Excuse me. It was for a $3.254 million grant, a formula block grant that's coming to the nation. It could be used for a whole host of different things. And we went through the different groups and asked for ideas about what we could do with that. We came out with a lot of different things. Excuse me. Goodness. <clears throat> Some of the things from retrofitting some of the buildings with uh, updated heating and air units. Uh, again, um, a lot of different things. Uh, one of the th reasons we didn't go with some of the heating and air on a lot of the different places, like the complex or at Hastings or something like that, was there some other places where we might be able to get that done without the actual outlay of capital, like through energy performance contracting. So I hope we'll be looking at that kind of thing, too. But I'll just go through this list real briefly. One of the things that we've been wanting to do for a while is to write an energy policy for the nation. We've got one that the chief came out with that was a one or two page thing that gives a rough outline of how we should do things. But we wanted a more comprehensive <coughs> policy about how we retrofit, how we build, how we repair, and not just electrical things, but heating and air conditioning, water, uh, the whole gamut, a policy that applies to everything that we do. Secondly, there's a uh, we wanted to build a recycling facility back, excuse me, behind the FRB, the facility the finance uh, building. And that delineates some of the monies that would be going into that, not just building the building, but having an office in there, having some compactors, some semi-trailers. We're looking at setting up, excuse me, contracts so that we can get those recyclables out of the Cherokee Nation and get the, get the monies back on those. Uh, we're looking at retrofitting. That says HVAC. It's supposed to have a uh, slash in there. <coughs> Heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system at the court mall. Um, we wanted to do that with a... Uh, it, been speaking with some of the folks in Molly Jarvis's area about how <coughs> The return on investment and the cost of doing that particular building was really cutting it out to where they couldn't do it feasibly. And I said, well, if we take a, a portion of that money and put into retrofitting that, we can do that. 
So that was one of the buildings that we couldn't do with energy performance contracting, or we didn't think we'd be able to do it in the time necessary to get that project off the ground. So we looked at that. Excuse me. Another one that I think is real important is performing energy <coughs> number four, energy audits on Cherokee uh, citizens' homes, their residential units. This doesn't just mean the host eligible people. We can do any Cherokee citizens. So we're looking at that. We'd like to construct a compressed natural gas facility next to, adjacent to that new uh, uh, recycling building. And then after we do that, number seven on down is to convert some of our fleet. Uh, we have a, our fleet consists of not just GSA vehicles, which we can get that are either we hope we can get that are either compressed natural gas or dual fuel to where we can uh, some of the vehicles that don't just stay here, but that the ones that leave here and return here would be fine with compressed natural gas. But the ones that would uh, be off site for a little while, we, we don't know if we could do those with CNG. If you look at number seven, we're looking at doing those vehicles and buying a few vehicles, uh, buses for uh, Sequoia High School because not all of their buses leave here and come back here, but some leave and go farther distances. So we're looking at that and then buying a touring bus for uh, CME for that cultural tourism use. And then number six, one of the biggest emitters of uh, uh, air pollution is, you might think vehicles, but mowers put out 20 times what a, a standard vehicle does. So we're looking at purchasing compressed natural gas mowers too, because I think that would get us the one of the biggest bangs for our bucks for, uh, as far as cutting emissions. So we're looking at putting that whole package together. We have to uh, report on how many jobs this creates and how Department of Energy does that is takes whatever gross amount of money that's spent and it's dividing it by $92,000. It seemed like a real efficient way of creating jobs to me, but that's how they did want it to report that. So that's how that's delineated there. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to try to answer them with the, with the air that I have left. All right. Got the uh, report there. Any questions for Mr. Elkins? Thank you. All right. We have the uh, reports finished. Moving on to uh, old business. We have two items under old business. Uh, these items were tabled from the uh, last resources committee meeting. Uh, we have a legislative act related to the Cherokee Nation Sustainable Energy and Resources uh, for discussion. Councillor uh, Callan Watts. I believe that's my original one, and I'll be brought at this time. Okay. And then, but we do need to take action on the second one. I'm sorry if you repeat that. So we do need to take okay. action on All right. So we have number one under uh, old business has been withdrawn by Councilor Town Watts. Uh, going on to number two, uh, it's an act requiring establishment of a reduced reuse and recycle program for the Cherokee Nation. Uh, would you like to uh, make a motion to approve? Okay, we have a motion to approve. We have a second. Uh, open for discussion. <coughs> Any questions or uh, comments? On this app. I believe that uh, I did have one question. question was, uh, Councillor Town Watts, was where does any uh, funding that's created through this recycling programs, where does that uh, funding go back into? Does that just go back into the gin fund or how does that work? I don't know that, that uh, you know, whether it be a plus or minus uh, on the uh, income, but uh, as far as those funds, do we have any experience with any previous programs like this or recycling, say, aluminum or things like that? How, how, does the, think if you'll, how do we do the accounting on that? So. Yeah, I don't know on the specific accounting, but I don't think there's any specifications that has to stay associated with the funding. I think they can, they have the ability to evaluate past programs, and mm -hmm. it's going to fluctuate with the commodity prices. 
right. those recyclables, but I think Tom was raising his hand to speak to it. So, Just to answer what we've done in the past, <coughs> most of the uh, recycling that we've done has been through human services. So they've put it back to offset expenses for that. And uh, this act doesn't delineate how that would be done, but I imagine it would go back into the gym fund area at some point because I'm almost certain to a certain extent we're not going to get, we're not going to make money off of this. It'll be the offset expenses. Okay. All right. Thank you. Any other questions regarding this act before us? There we have the, uh, a motion and a second. Want to do it by acclamation or roll call? Acclamation. Okay. Uh, all those in favor by acclamation, uh, say aye. 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 All those opposed? Uh, moving on to uh, new business. <coughs> Items under new business, uh, we have a uh, resolution authorizing Cherokee Nation to lease trust land to uh, mark outdoor advertising. Councilor Baker. Yes, uh, I was the only one I guess you could find, but uh, when Donaldson called and uh, uh, this is uh, a billboard in Catoosa on the land that just went into trust and the paperwork needs to be done in order to maintain the contract or whatever there. So we have a motion? You have a motion. Second. Uh, we got a second. Discussion. Councilor Count Watts. They tried contacting me and I was in meetings, so of course I can't answer the phone during meetings, but I'd like to add, be added as a sponsor, but at this okay. time make a motion to table because there's problems with the lease. With what? Tabled it for a month because there's problems with the lease. Okay. Concerns. Okay. So we have a motion to uh, table. A second. Number one and a second. <coughs> and that person. <coughs> Uh, all those in favor for tabling uh, this resolution, say aye. Aye. All those opposed, same sign. There's no opposition, moving on. Number two, we have a, a resolution authorizing a restaurant lease on trust land at the complex in Cherokee County. Yes, this one. Motion. Yeah, motion to approve, and it's the restaurant. It's the same people and all, but because it's in trust, we now have to do it different ways. Okay. So we got a motion and a second. Any discussion on this resolution for this lease? Okay. I guess I have a question. Are there any problems with this particular lease? No. no. Okay. No, no, no problems uh, mentioned for this uh, particular lease. And no additional questions. All those in favor for uh, passing this resolution authorizing this restaurant lease, uh, say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Resolution passes. Okay. Moving on to agenda <coughs> item number three, we have an update on the uh, Department of Energy grant for discussion. Councilor Callahan. <coughs> to approve uh, this grant, and it's for a um, oh, that's what we've already done. I'm sorry. Okay. Me, I was so this is, this is, that, that's already been done. He did it during his report. Okay. My apologies. I was on the other day. That's part of the uh, update. Okay. <coughs> there wasn't any discussion then, but now that we've been made aware of that, is there any additional discussion or questions? Uh, Noting no new discussion. Uh, moving on to the. Uh, <coughs> amended agenda items. On number four, we have a uh, resolution authorizing the submission of a special grant to the U.S. Department of the Interior. Um, we have a motion. Uh, Councilor Count Watts. Okay, so that's Department of Interior, uh, the Energy and Minerals Development Program, and the staff is here to speak to, to, to the mayor side on the Arkansas River Bed and this is a planning and evaluation grant for a hydro power project. I have a motion and a second. Uh, any further discussion? I think I'd like to hear, Tom, I know you're uh, a little bit. Okay. We've got a, a representative. 
There's no cash match granted needed. Okay. Could you introduce yourself? Carol Wyatt from Cherokee Nation Businesses. And thank you for accepting this late. The deadline was the day before I submitted it, and I didn't know about it. Okay. So can you just kind of discuss the grant? Well, there's been some studies done in the past on the Arkansas Riverbed, and they're all old and outdated, and so this is a renewable thing, and the Department of Interior has some money to give, and we felt like we should try for it. So we think that there's a possibility of 125 to 130. We have 131,000 in our budget right now. The proposal is due June the 23rd. Okay. And that is on the WD Mayo site to pattern after the other one that's done by the Corps of Engineers, number 13. Okay. Thank you. Counsel Baker? Is it necessary to move the full council tonight? Yes. Yes, we have to have a resolution. I'm sorry, it has to be approved by the tribal resolution to be in the proposal. Did somebody make it? I was second, so I would accept it. I'd offer that as well. Counselor? Friendly amendment, I guess. I'm sorry, but maybe I'm moving a little bit slow today, but I thought maybe I got to make the motion on that. Did I not? I said I was the second. Okay. Well, I believe it's been seconded, but I didn't hear that it was intended to go to council tonight. Yeah, so that's... So is that part of your motion then? It needs to be part of the motion, yes. Okay, so she offered a friendly to that, and so do you accept? Okay, and she accepts. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, now that we've discussed that and been updated, this is a resolution for us. We've discussed it. All those in favor of the resolution, say aye. Aye. All those opposed, same sign. All right, no one opposed. All right, on to the next item. Item number five, we have a resolution that adds 17 projects to our funding. Counselor Snell was the sponsor of this piece of legislation. Second. We've got an approval and a second. Any discussion? No discussion needed. All those in favor? Yes. Do you want to do the discussion now or after the vote? Now? Yeah. I just want to make sure that this committee is aware of what this does. I know what it does, but I just want if Michael Lynch could come up and explain to us, to the other committee members, and let them know what 17 transactions means and what they're going to do. Michael, I'm aware of it, but I want to make sure the other committee members are clear on it. This will add the 17 new projects to our TIP, our Transportation Improvement Plan, which is our construction schedule is basically what it is. We go through an evaluation process of all the routes that we have on our inventory system, prioritize them by points, and the ones with the highest points will rise to the top. The top ones that we had this year were the 16 road projects, with an addition of the 17th one. That is a 1% set aside from basically 1% of our annual allocation from our program for transit activities. This is the first year for that, and since we're delving more into the transit world, we are going to set aside 1% to assist in matching the operation of the transit programs that we have. Counselor Cox? I've got a question. If a road within a three- to six-month period of time that was decided that it was going to have a whole lot more traffic on it really quickly, how fast does a road come out of inventory and go on to this list? This list is updated. It can be updated annually. We generally update it about every two years. We'll add enough projects in one year that will carry us for a couple of years, funding-wise. But it is updated once a year, and that's due to the Bureau July 15th. Where I'm coming from with that is coming out of Ramona. If, obviously, 
because the names drastically changed up there, and it was deemed we got a we're going to have a high traffic situation. So you're you're about a year. But I just I just said no. Yeah, uh, and and high traffic volumes are definitely something that we look at, but it's not the only criteria the only that we criteria. look at. Uh, so I mean we can we can, we'll I'll take note of that. And, uh, and, I know what road you're talking about. Right. So I was just curious yeah. the time frame on that. Thank you. That's all I have. Thank okay. you. Appreciate it. Are there any other questions, Council Yeah, this? I just got a comment. And, and what Michael was talking about, they have a rating system for these roads, and, the, and it's a really good rating system. <coughs> so that's a road program we put it together, and, and it almost takes a lot of the question out of you know, which road gets approved. And, I know a lot of them, if you see, most of them are in Adair, Cherokee, Delaware, and Sequoia County, but there's good reasons for that. So, you know, it's a fairly good rating system on the thing. So, I just want to make sure that the other council member in the committee knew, you know, where these roads were going to go and how they were selected, not just because all of them are in Adair County. But, but, but he has a good system, and I'll have to say that. Okay. This is going to council tonight. No, sir, it was uh, in July. All right. Thank you, ma'am. We've got a motion and a second. Uh, this resolution to add these uh, projects to the uh, roads funding. All those in favor of adding these projects, say aye. Aye. All those opposed, same sign. And, uh, all right. Resolution passed. Okay. We've got. Uh, Item number six on the new business agenda is the uh, discussion that uh, pertains to the funding for the uh, Delaware agreement. And uh, we have a motion to uh, discuss. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chair. I, I would move, I, I would like to have Doug to explain this, but I, I would like to offer uh, to the amend the, to move it to full council tonight. I believe this has to move on the budget bond. Okay, so we have a motion to uh, move this budget mod request to full council tonight during the uh, consideration for the full budget mod. And we've got a motion and a second. Open for discussion. Yeah, I've got it right here. So, can you explain how this? Budget mod brings forward to the Delaware and what's going on. And okay, this, this per, I can address this particular item. Of, I don't have a whole lot of in-depth knowledge about the agreement between the you know, with the Delaware tribe. But this particular one that is related to 2009. Uh, the agreement was negotiated and signed, I believe, in July of last year. And the intent at that time was to go ahead and do a budget mod this year to increase the. Uh, the path through for self-governance oversight uh, of an inc additional 280,000. Um, the I'm getting all this information from a discussion I had with uh, Secretary of State Knight Friday uh, about it, and, and uh, I'm just relaying to you everything that she told me. Uh, we also have a the 2010 budget that's related to this exact same thing was contemplated and is in, going to be included in the comprehensive budget for this year, so uh, it won't be another you know. Uh, Oversight like that again. Uh, that's been taken care of, but when they realized that the 2009 negotiations that needed amended, ha we hadn't modified the budget yet to accommodate these funds, 280,000. That's why, and, and they're they're needing the funding. The dealers need the funding. So uh, that that's why we're kind of looking at a time crunch here, needing to pass it on through tonight, uh, as opposed to going to the finance committee. And in addition, um, the the modification package to go before the council tonight can simply be this can simply be added as a rider to the mod without any additional agenda um, <coughs> item being added to your full council. Will this funding be added to the Delaware's yes. budget? Their budget? Mm -hmm. Well this, this is adding it to the pass through budget this to the Delaware. Says, as a matter of fact, it specifically states on the, on the face of the budget that the increase is to, uh, is for the Delaware agreement with the base funds plus indirect costs, and it's in the contract service line item, which is where their pastor is counted. All right. Uh, questions have been answered. Mm -hmm. The uh, question has been called. All those in favor for uh, moving this to the 
full council meeting tonight. Uh, say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, last on the agenda item list for new business was uh, the discussion for uh, moving uh, the roads reports to community services. Uh, we have a motion to discuss. I have a move to approve. Okay, we have a motion to add this, uh, discuss this, and we have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 What do we need to discuss here, uh, Council Budget? Uh, I think what, <coughs> what brought this on is uh, Charlie Soap and Michael Lynn were making reports here, then we also had it over in Community Services before Community Services went. And it's it's kind of like a, a two things that Charlie had to come in and do. So I'm, 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 I'm okay with moving this over to the Community Services uh, Committee, and I think we need to leave it just like it is, but I do make uh, on public comment that needs to be a separate agenda item, just like we've always done it, because we want to leave that specifically for road issues. So if we could just do that, Shelley, just like we've done it here, that would be just fine. And the reason we do that because Michael is under some laws and regulation that he needs those public comments, so we do reserve those for those meetings. And, and if somebody wants to make a comment, that's where their action to take place. So. I'm, I'm in favor of doing this, so I would appreciate uh, the vote on it. Thank you. Uh, any other comments or questions? All those in favor for removing the report to uh, community services, say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. All those opposed, same sign. Uh, the report will be moved. Any announcements? All right. Entertain a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Uh, move. Second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed. Thank you.